What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com here. So what do we have in the house today? A bow's in the house. So this is the Hyper MT Plus 2 one seven scale monster truck and I want to give a big thanks to Habao and Jennifer because they're the ones that sent this to me at no charge so thank you very much I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description below so these come in three different models the silver white that we have here we also have the blue now these both are gonna be RTR kits and then they have an 80% which will come with the clear body no electronics so anyway without further ado let's get into what comes in this box Besides that awesome truck. All right, so in the package, you wanna make sure that you adjust your turnbuckles accordingly per Habao. They wanted me to mention that to you guys, but it's in the kit anyhow, so I would've told you anyway. All right, so that's that. Got this nice radio here, 2.4 gigahertz radio. And it does have like a third channel, so maybe we could add lights to it or something like that, but definitely cool all your trim settings, your dual rate that's in the center, other adjustments up at the top, but nonetheless, it does have a little foam grip that's here, and you got your four double A's that are on the bottom. You just gotta pop that little lid open there. All right, so you get, what happened to the stickers? No, the stickers, they've already put them on the vehicle, so there's only a few that are left over, so if you guys wanna put those on maybe your box or something like that, or put them on the truck, go ahead and have fun with that, but yeah, that's what's left of it. So that's kind of funny. All right, so when it comes to your warranty too, you got a 90 day warranty, but uh, only 30 days on your electronics. So if anything goes wrong, make sure that you're checking your car or your truck uh, prior to that 30 days. So don't let it sit in the box for too long. Um, other things would be like your electronics uh, servo because they show you the specs here when it comes to, you know, depending on what the output of the uh, ESC is. So at six volts, you're at 25, you know kilograms there or at 7.4 volts be at 32 kilograms so good stuff there this here is a little spec sheet on your um, electronic speed controller so if you need to set stuff up but here's the deal in the kit any of the RTRs it comes with this little programming card which is awesome so you could do this the manual way where you have to push a little button and look for the little lights or you can plug this in where your fan would go onto your electronic speed controller and you can set it that way. I love this thing. This is so cool that they actually send these into the RTR kits. Only the RTR, not into the kit versions or the 80%. So these right here, I've already taken some of this stuff out, but this is just to take your wheels off or in this case, if it's brand new, put them on. So the instructions that are here too, very nice exploded views and actual kind of like a step-by-step -step on getting everything installed. Now, if by chance you need to take something apart, you got the manual. So that's nice. And at the very end of it all, there's your exploded view. You can, you know, reference different parts and everything like that. So if anything is broken, need to be replaced, and you're not sure, you're like, oh, I know what the part is. Yep, there it is. Okay, and there you go, you got the part number. So definitely cool. You get a little antenna with that, the little straw. So cool on that one. Now these little foam pieces that are here, the double st uh, stick tape on it, these are gonna go for your battery tray as well. So you, depending on your batteries and everything like that, and that actually just adds a little bit of cushion to it. So definitely nice. More information on your uh, radio. It's so very cool. And some little tools. Now I got these in the in here as well. These are for like the differential. So I'm not sure why they added these in here. Maybe uh, about you can let, let me know or let everybody else know and I'll put you, I'll pin that comment up so everybody knows what why those were in there. But also I got your little body clips that are in here some tools to get you started to get you know start wrenching on your vehicle if necessary and this is just FCC stuff here you know protocol uh, compliance I'm gonna skim over this so if you guys want to read it then do so like your XT90 plugs I mean aluminum chassis lots of aluminum lots of upgrades that have been done to it as well to strengthen this vehicle up Maybe a little spin tour there of the car those right here, those are just gonna be, uh, they're just reflectors. So there's no LEDs in there, in there or nothing like that. Nice and smooth, it's a big dude. The body on this thing too is really thick. It's probably the thickest RC body they've ever owned to be honest with you. These wheelie bars are something I did install because they're not installed from the factory. 
I did add a little bit of grease in there so it just makes it a little bit smoother, just an FYI on that part of it. So you might want to do that as well. Here's just a quick comparison too. The Shredder is a 1.6 scale. We got a 1.7 scale as far as our Habao. So yeah, even the tires are a little bit bigger. Just figure I'd kind of show that to you real quick. Uh, your receiver box, so that's nice. It only has like two screws that are in there. And then the other side is just the hinge. So if you need to get into that receiver box for whatever reason, not so hard to get to. Uh, aluminum shocks does have a little bump stop that's there too because when you compress the shock or the actual suspension the chassis does bottom out first before the shocks do so that's definitely a plus when you're bashing or just jumping in general uh, i call this the meat grinder so you don't want to get anything caught up in there since it's exposed and i'm getting at is the wires coming off your electronic speed controller those things were kind of just they are generally just kind of like here so just be careful because you want to rearrange those because you don't want those things like that. So you want to go ahead, do whatever you need to do, but just keep everything out of that way of those gears, even your fingers. So, you know, don't have to really tell you that, but that's what you got to do. You know, zip tie this stuff or whatever, just to be safe. Now, as far as the battery trays go, I think they're pretty cool. They're nice. It, you know, it's an added little option, I guess, too, that you could, you know, just pu push these little tabs in and then you can drop the tray. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, you can just undo the Velcro. It does have, like I said, it's got those little foam pieces in here because there is a little bit of a gap. Even if you put like a really long battery, this is a shorter battery and this is a, just a soft pack. It's a 3S LiPo Venom battery, but there's still enough gap that's in there. So, and if we do like a long hard case, still a little bit of a gap in there. So definitely will accommodate a lot of batteries just so kind of give you that. The chassis, you know, from what I can tell right now, it seems to be very premium. It's a nice, thick, rigid chassis that's here. They made some improvements as well with this particular one. So I'm definitely looking forward to just driving this thing. And uh, yeah, it's even the gears in it, you know, they're all metal. They're the, gonna be those Mod 1 gears, 16 tooth pinion gear that's in it. I don't know what the spur gear is offhand, sorry. But uh, yeah, all in all, XT90s, so liking that. And we got a little on and off switch over on the other side. Let me go ahead and flip this thing around so you can see the other without going off the table but yep on and off switch that's here again same thing with when it comes to your battery tray all good on there if I didn't mention it uh, these tires are about seven and a half inches tall I have a clawback which is a red cat and it's a one fifth scale crawler and it's got eight inch tires so they look a little bit small on that truck but these things I mean seven and a half inches tall when it comes to a a tire that's a pretty big tire so these are big meats that are on here anyhow yeah there's a lot of you know support integrity as far as you know structure there so this thing's got a lot of stuff let's just look underneath it too you know even just our center differential aluminum that's there you know as far as those braces go keep that transmission in place even just when it comes to your servo uh, you know the servo horn being you know aluminum as well and so when it comes to the arms definitely nice on that one nice and beefy arms so yeah that's gonna be it so we're gonna get a running video of this thing here in the near future probably in the next day or two because I'm eager to run this thing anyway so I appreciate you guys watching as always don't forget to like comment subscribe check us out at omgrc.com links in the description below if you guys want to get one of these like I said you're gonna have the the silver one the blue one those are gonna be the RTRs the ready to run less the battery and charger that you're gonna need to get you really out the door plus you know four double a batteries and the the kit version the 80 percent you need to paint it you know you gotta get the electronics in there so that's all that stuff as well but anyway big shout out thank you to habao again definitely feel honored that you sent this to me so thank you and i'll catch you guys on the next video you guys take care and thank you again for watching